happening today. Federal investigators are in Portland, Tennessee. They're investigating a small plane crash that happened last night. Right, and News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy joins us live from the Portland Municipal Airport this morning. So, uh, Dan, how many people on board? Do we know what happened? Yeah, we're talking about two people on board. One person who was pronounced dead at the scene, a second who was airlifted at the Vanderbilt with very serious injuries. We're getting an idea now with sunrise and talking with some eyewitnesses what happened. Just spoke with a neighbor because this is a residential area right next to the airport who says he heard the plane clip this tree and we see there's debris down on the roadway and then the plane, a small one, uh, landed about 100 yards away into this open field and this is where one person was pronounced dead and then uh, Vanderbilt Life Flight landed in this large open field and then airlifted the second passenger inside that plane to Vanderbilt Medical Center with serious injuries. All this happening just 2,500 feet away from the, the runway at Portland Municipal Airport. According to the police, that's where this plane was trying to land when they experienced problems at about 745 last night. What problems? We don't exactly know, but the police department says they do confirm what we're seeing out here on the scene, uh, that that plane clipped the tree and then crashed in the field. Listen. Struck a tree alongside the roadway in an attempt to land and apparently lost control of the aircraft. There has been one fatality in the aircraft. Uh, there's one other serious injury, and they've been life flighted to a local national hospital. Several questions today, including the condition on that second person who was taken to the hospital. We also don't yet know the names of those involved. Police working to notify next of kin, and once they do that, then we'll be able to pass that along to you. Still working to learn on where this plane was uh, coming from and if Portland was its indeed final destination or if this was just a stop uh, en route to somewhere else. We expect to learn all this as the FAA and NTSB arrive on the scene a little later this morning. Reporting live from Portland, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. Dan, thank you. Two people are hurt after a shooting in North Nashville. Police tell us it happened at 23rd and Osage Street. Several people called police after hearing those gunshots. And while officers were investigating, they were told that one victim actually showed up at Metro General Hospital. Another one showed up at Vanderbilt. Both expected to be all right. Police now trying to find out who actually shot them. And a gunman is on the run after opening fire on a busy Nashville interstate during rush hour. Shooting led to a crash at caused some massive traffic problems on I-40. Metro Police say it all started at around 5 at the Wendy's on Jefferson Street. Two men got into some kind of argument, they got into their cars, and one of them shot at the other and caused him to crash. Officers are now searching for the gunman who was driving a white Altima. If you know anything at all, call Metro Police. Police also believe they've identified the victim in yesterday's deadly train crash. Officers say he's a 25-year-old from Hermitage and that his death was an accident. He was reportedly walking along the railroad crossing at Stones River. The conductor tried to stop, but it was just too late. Officers are waiting to release his name so they can notify the family. A thief not only steals from a church, but steals the church's trailer that was used to help victims of natural disasters. Someone took the trailer between Sunday night and Monday morning from the Excel Baptist Church up in Clarksville. So be watching for this. It's a white box trailer and it's got the name of the church on both sides. So it should be pretty easy to spot inside that trailer. A generator, ladders, chainsaws, different power saws and several tools all used to help people when disaster strikes in Middle Tennessee. Who would steal that? And Tennessee gets more people trained to help in Texas. Last night, the Nashville area Red Cross hosted a volunteer training class for those interested in disaster response work. Well, the class was full and so are the two additional classes which are scheduled this week. If any more open up, of course, we'll let you know.